Gendry travels with Jon Snow and Daenerys Targaryen to Winterfell, where he starts working in the forges to craft dragonglass weapons for use against the White Walkers and the Army of the Dead. He manages to craft a double-bladed dragonglass axe for the Hound, who is thoroughly uninterested in Gendry's explanation of the difficulty of crafting such a blade. As he is explaining this to the Hound, Arya walks over Gendry and the two exchange friendly banter recalling their past time together. Arya then shows Gendry a drawing of an unusual weapon she would like him to craft for her. Although skeptical of her intentions, Gendry agrees. After the fall of Last Hearth, Gendry's crafting is forced to accelerate, and he continues to work tirelessly for the completion of the weaponry. Arya returns to the forges and asks if her weapon is ready, to which Gendry says that he is still crafting her design. Annoyed, she states that he should have made it his priority, before asking about the army of the dead. When she becomes dissatisfied with his brief description of the dead, Gendry sums up their likeness in one word, death. He then tells her that although she is eager and brave, she has seen nothing like the whites. However, Arya casually throws a set of dragonglass daggers into the same spot on a wooden beam, across Gendry's shoulder, explaining her familiarity with death and her excitement of what is to come. Gendry stands, mesmerized at her deadpan surety and confidence. Whilst Arya practices her archery, Gendry delivers her weapon, a quarterstaff with dragonglass blades. When she asks about Melisandre, he tells her of the leech ritual. Arya probes him further, forcing him to admit his parentage as Robert's bastard. She then asks if he was a virgin before the ritual, but Gendry expresses that he was not intimate with Melisandre. When asked if he is still a virgin, and if he is not, how many girls he has been with, Gendry states that he has not kept count. Arya sees through this lie, with Gendry finally admitting he has slept with three girls since his escape from Dragonstone. Arya, due to her ability to tell lies from the truth in her mastery of the game of faces, is satisfied from what she could gather and ends the topic, before stating that she feels that the two of them will likely die, and is eager to know the feeling of physical love before she does. She then kisses him forcefully on the lips, after which Gendry shows some slight resistance, but he quickly gives in to the overwhelming sense of attraction, though he is briefly startled by the scars she received from the waif as she undresses, and they make love. Gendry sleeps soundly after their liaison, whilst Arya lies awake, awaiting the arrival of the White Walkers. Gendry survives the Battle of Winterfell and attends the funeral pyres of those who fell fighting the White Walkers. He is present during the celebrations, but wonders where Arya is and sets out to leave. However, he is stopped by Daenerys Targaryen who announces that she decided to legitimize Gendry, becoming the new Lord of Storm's End and head of House Baratheon. Afterwards Gendry looks for Arya and eventually finds her practicing her archery, nearly getting hit by an arrow when doing so. Gendry asks why Arya isn't celebrating with the others, and she replies that she is celebrating. Gendry then kisses Arya and tells her that Daenerys legitimized him and made him the Lord of Storm's End. The news surprises Arya and Gendry proceeds to kneel in front of her, confessing that he loves her and wants to marry her. Arya is left speechless at this and reciprocates with a kiss. However, Arya states that any woman would be lucky to have him as a husband, but that life isn't for her, turning him down. Arya continues to practice her archery and Gendry is left heartbroken. After the Battle of King's Landing, Gendry takes part in the trial of Tyrion Lannister as the legitimate Lord of Storm's End. After Tyrion asks the Lords of the Seven Kingdoms to choose the new king and suggests Bran Stark's name, he gives his assent. 